Alright guys, welcome back to your 28th Ruby tutorial and in this lesson I'm going to be talking more about arrays and showing you guys a couple cool ways that you can add elements into an array. So I showed you guys how to pretty much create a full array last time with all the elements already in it. But now I'm going to show you guys an alternative way because often what you want to do is at first you just want to create a blank array and then maybe you want the user that's using your program to be able to fill it up or other programmers and you don't know what all you want in your array at first so the first thing that people do is typically create a blank array and here's how you do that instead of putting square brackets with a bunch of things in it just put empty square brackets square brackets with nothing in between now go ahead and hit enter and check it out we have an array called cheese and nothing is in this array yet so let me show you guys how to add elements into your array after you created an array the first thing that you could do is you can use well go ahead and type the name of your array then use the double less than signs now okay I might as well type out the whole command because if I try to explain what I'm gonna type next it's not gonna make sense so first item so what we want to do is we want to add a bunch of strings or text into this array so the first way is to do this and this is called pushing or adding an element onto the end of your array so basically we have the item we want to add which is called first item now you can kind of see these double lesson signs is like arrow flowing into cheese so now whenever we hit enter this item is gonna flow into the array cheese check it out now if you go ahead and print out cheese on the screen we have one item in there so again that is called pushing or basically adding an element into the, onto the end of your array now you can also do this in an alternative way now that's go ahead and type the name of your array which is cheese and use the push method now this is pretty much the same exact thing as before but it's easier for a lot of beginners to visually see what's going on now rather than this double less than operator so now in between as your parameter for push go ahead and type in whatever item you want like second item now go ahead and hit enter and what this is going to do is it's going to push this item onto the end of your array basically add this onto your array pretty good pretty good so now just like before we can access the individual elements by putting cheese zero which is the first item or cheese one which is the second item and we can you know print them out on the screen we could I don't know change them if we want we could do a whole bunch of sorts sort of things with them so now let's go ahead and take a look at that cheese array one more time it has first item and second item let's go ahead and add one more item onto the and uh, you know I'm not gonna do third item because that's just boring let's just go ahead and do tuna mctuna that looks pretty good so now our array consists of three items first item second item and tuna mctuna sounding pretty good so now that we know how to add items onto the end of your array I think it would be a good idea to learn how to take items off the end of the array so pushing remember this pushing is adding items on popping is taking items off so let's go ahead and pop an item off the end of this array now a key thing you want to take note of is this since you're saying okay remove an item from this array you don't need to specify the item that's what a lot of people confuse about whenever you pop an item it doesn't need parameters it's just gonna take the last one no matter what it is so go ahead and put cheese pop that actually sounds like a soda drink or popcorn or something and go ahead and hit enter and now it returns the tuna mctuna now the reason it does this is it's pretty much saying okay this is the item that we removed from your array so before our array was first item second item and tuna mctuna now we popped off the last element which was tuna mctuna now if you just go ahead and take a look at cheese check it out it now only consists of that first item and second item but tuna mctuna is no longer on there and we can go ahead and print out well pop off another one but actually might as well I was gonna say something else but never mind I was getting flabbergasted so let's go ahead and pop off the next element what one does this pop off the second item now if you go ahead and take a look at that cheese array it only has that first item 
pretty interesting huh so there you go there's your quick tutorial on how to push pop in all about cheese so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and uh yeah i'll see you in the next video